All right, so now we're all set up for DSP plus Fastlane in our folder. You want to listen to some, uh, maybe follow along a P25 talk group. So we're going to go look in radio reference, take a look around your area. Yeah, look over here in trunk systems in Clark County. I'm gonna click that. And we got Crescent 911 is the local for the police and fire. So we're gonna click that. Yeah, scroll down here. Find your county. If you're close in a couple counties, you know you find your tower that has the the strongest signal that you can receive which I've already determined that it's this one here for me. So what we're going to do is the quick and easy way to get this running and listen to it is to go in here and run the FMP24. Control channel. So we're going to double click and run that. And then that frequency that was listed in the database was eight six zero nine three seven five. So there's our control channel. I'm gonna turn my gain down a little bit. Just lowercase g turns your gain down. Shift G, uppercase G raises your gain. Same with the bandwidth. You can uh Click on the B button and shift through the bandwidth. My PPM is good on here, so I ain't gonna worry about that. All right, so now we're locked in our control channel. Next thing we'll do so we can listen to it and follow along is we'll open this 1R bat. So open that up. <coughs> Now, when you open this first, it'll be hooked to your speakers. And you have to manually go in and change over to one of your VB cables. Sixteen thirty two, head to operation. Okay, so you can see. We're getting uh, group IDs and the radio IDs that we still don't, we don't know who's talking, right? We want to know who's talking. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to radio reference. And on a good amount of these systems, you scroll over here on the right hand side, there's a downloads option. In a lot of these systems, there's users and others who have compiled data in different formats. And some of these you'll find there's already pre-compiled, ready to go for DSD+. Plus. So we're going to download those. We'll save them over here in our working folder. Go here, and we're going to open them up with uh, with our text editor. So we're going to right click and all right, copy and paste this data into your DSD plus sites file. All right, so we're going to copy this, and then we're going to go to our fast lane folder, and we're going to find the DSD plus sites right there, and we're going to open that up with the text editor, and we'll scroll down. And we'll paste it in here. Save it. Close it. Close it. And then we had a groups file that we downloaded right here. So we'll right click, open that with editor. Copy and paste this data in your DSD plus button. No, we want to put it in our DSD plus groups file. So we're going to copy this. 
and then we're gonna go open our DSD plus groups file right here. You're gonna open that with your text editor. I'm gonna scroll down. See, it already started collecting some data, but it doesn't have the names. So I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite that with the info that we now have. Hit save. Close that. Close that. Now we'll go back over here and run our FMP24 control bad again. Tune to our control channel frequency. Adjust our bandwidth. Turn my gain down a little bit. All right, so we locked on that, and we'll go run our one R bat again. And now we got we got names associated with our radio IDs. All right, one zero, waiting on crew two from Clark. And that's the quick way to run. You can do that pretty much with uh, most of the modulations, DMR, NHBN, CAT Plus. Some of them you need to add a little more information, but this is a quick and dirty way to listen to a system, a trunking system. So there is another way, and I will show that. Right now, I guess I can do that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna close all this. And I wanna run, just for the information, I'm gonna run this one again real quick. All right, so you can see here our audio outputs with numbers on them. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to close that. All right. So now what we can do is we're going to go to our fast lane folder. We're going to open this FMP24 control channel bat with a text editor. All right. So dash I1 is our dongle. This is a port that's going to be forwarding it to the DSD plus EXE, our PPM adjustment, and then our frequency, which we're following over here is 860-9375. Now, every time you notice, we got to adjust the gain and the bandwidth and whatnot, so little g and the bandwidth or the gain number we want to use. So I'm going to do 42. Uh, B, we want a 12.5 for that. And that gets us going there. So now we'll save that. And I'll save it as, I want to keep the original, so I'm going to just make a little notation here with the name of the system so I know that it's ready to go for that system and then we're going to open up the 1R bat with the text editor and right down here we're going to do a the minus sign, the letter O, lowercase, and then the number for the VB cable that we want to use. So I want to use A, so I'm going to put a number three. I'm going to put a number three right there. And I'm going to save that. So now. When we go run that, 
FMP 24cc Cressa. I'm gonna run it. And you know, our gain set where we want, our bandwidth is where we want. We're all good to go right there. And we'll run our 1R bet. Yeah, we'll be on a. Okay. We'll see right here. I'll stop this and go back up. It chose our audio output device S3, like we'd set it up to. And that's that quick and dirty. And making a few edits to uh, a couple of bat files. That's running with one dongle. I'll make another video on doing it with more than one dongle.